Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes. This is a daily tarot reading. Uh, take it for whenever it resonates. Uh, this reading may or may not be for you. It's not sign specific, and it's not time specific. This is just an energy that I am picking up on. Okay. Seven of Cups reversed. So, it looks as though somebody's made a decision. They've received, received some sort of clarity. It's like a clear, a clear decision has been made. Okay, the decision has been made. They've received the decision. You know, the, something like that. Hangman. Interesting. Interesting. So, this is confused, but this is no longer confused. So this is coming out of confusion. This is confusion. Interesting. Knight of Wands reversed. Four of Wands. Three of Swords reversed. This is recovery. Recovering. Somebody has met their match. We have a match here. We have a pair. This man has, or person, has been unable to take action in a state of confusion. This person has been in a state of confusion. They've been very indecisive. But this is healing. This is forgiveness. Empress, hmm. page of coins, Ooh. king of coins reversed, nine of swords reversed, knight of cups reversed. Somebody hasn't been able to, this is the Six of Wands, somebody hasn't been able to have, find success, okay? Somebody hasn't been able to make much progress. So, the overall theme is somebody isn't making much progress, okay? Somebody isn't able to uh, move forward by the looks of things. We have somebody here that has been sacrificing themselves needlessly in a state of confusion, but it appears that they have received some sort of clarity. They've been, they've been, this person has been, it's almost like paralyzed. This person has, hasn't been able to make a move. But now there's this page of pentacles. This could be a message coming in. This could be an apology. This is, this could be... You know, somebody that has been having regrets with the Nine of Swords. Somebody has been living in regret, feeling guilty perhaps. Stuck. Definitely stuck. We have somebody here that hasn't been able to progress. Absolutely. And they may know, they may know that they have already met their match. It's like they know they have already met their match, but they may have been very stubborn. This is stubborn. We have a very stubborn individual here that uh, may be dealing with somebody who really, really, really knows their value. This person really knows their value. This person has a lot of life experience. This person is a creator. This person can grow anything. This person has the world in their hands. Uh, this person... Um, gives birth to a new life. This person is very nurturing, uh, very abundant, has a lot to offer and knows it. Okay. This person is blossoming, really, really blossoming. Um, and we have somebody here that is probably regretting, okay, regretting not taking action with the Knight of Wands. They're regretting it with this Knight of, uh, the Nine of Swords here. Somebody is regretting not taking action. Um, 
Now this person has dealt with their pain. They have delivered their pain. They may have started a new life already. This person has already, you know, created something new. Um, it feels like we got some, somebody may want to go back. They may want to go back. This person is no longer focused on it at all. This person is focused on what they have in their hands. It's like there's a great big world out there. This person may want to heal something and come back. You know, it's like there's there's been a lot of pain. There has been. This person, we have somebody here that is really suffering. They can't sleep at night. They're really struggling. They are feeling really, really guilty. Um, or, they, or they have a lot of regrets about um, not following through with, with love. Okay, not following through with, with what they promised. Okay. I feel like we have somebody here that um, made some poor decisions. They may have um, acted impulsively and sacrificed something that was really beautiful to prove a point. Sacrificed something that was really beautiful to prove a point to another person. Now they've received some sort of clarity and they may be apologizing. Okay, this is the Page of Pentacles. This is doing the right thing, finding the moral backbone to apologize, to take that step forward, to start over after being literally paralyzed, unable to do so. But this person is blossoming so much. I mean, really, look at it. Very, very much blossoming into, you know, this person is has created something really big, has created a new world for themselves, a new life for themselves, new life, period. And it feels as though, you know, this is somebody, the Wheel of Fortune, that just they can't move on or they want to go back and they have a lot of regrets. Um, they didn't, whoever this person, somebody didn't focus on a relationship. They didn't focus on... Uh, growing a relationship it's like they bailed they bailed um, when they should have stayed and now you know well stubbornness will get you nowhere right and now ten of wands now they're overwhelmed somebody is overwhelmed they are burdened. They're carrying this burden around with them. It's like they can't let it go. They feel so guilty and so regretful that it's weighing them down. It's holding them down. They're overwhelmed. We got somebody here that is overwhelmed with their poor decision. This person buried themselves in their work. They buried themselves to overcome their feelings but there's a lot there's unfinished business there's a lack of completion there's a feeling of emptiness this is there's unfinished business here it's like they, they they're un they can't move on they can't truly move on it's not over yet it's not over yet they may they they may have learned a very painful lesson okay a very painful lesson about uh, re coming, um, not following through, okay, G getting off task, you know, not following through, not, not putting in the effort to make something work. Seven of coins, uh, dissatisfied. Somebody is really, seven of coins reversed. Somebody is really dissatisfied that, um, Somebody may be relocating or somebody has relocated. Emperor. Emperor reversed. This this person is angry. This person is very, very upset. Very upset that things didn't go their way. There's a cycle that is not complete. The wheel reversed and the world reversed. This this cycle is not it's not complete yet. And we have somebody here that is very definitely upset that whoever it is that their soulmate, okay, these are soulmates. Their soulmate is no longer 
invested in them. Their soulmate is no longer invested in them. And their soulmate is no longer invested in them. And it could go either way because they didn't follow through. And now they're regretting that they didn't put in the effort that they should have put in. They should have nurtured it when it was time. So we definitely have somebody here that, I mean, they, it feels like this person may want to heal. They may, may, they may ask for forgiveness. This is, this is, you know, what could happen in the future, right around the corner. Somebody could ask for forgiveness. They may want to come back. Presently, this person is, is paralyzed. They're unable to take action. They realize that this is a match. They realize that this is what made them happy. They do realize that now. Okay. And it, it's like it's too late. This person has already relocated or they're relocating or they're no longer invested. And, and now it feels like this whole, this whole, uh, there's a feeling of emptiness. There's a feeling of, uh, overwhelmed somebody is overwhelmed they're burdened they're carrying it they can't let it go this person is having a very 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 hard time um, they're struggling holding on to this it does need to be released this is an a, an emptiness or baggage that needs to be dealt with there's definitely some unfinished business this person is is really really uh, feeling it they are feeling stressed over this loss this is a loss Okay, this person is no longer focused at all. This person has grown. This person has created something new, very, very much blossoming. And we have somebody here that doesn't want to let go. They still want to hang on. They still want to hang on now that this person has healed or grown or, you know, delivered, whatever. This person... Um, is no longer invested or taking any action whatsoever. Um, yeah, this person is a star. This person is, is a star, okay? This person is shining very, very brightly. This person uh, is about to follow their dreams. This person uh, may be, but this person over here may be realizing that, you know, they're losing everything that they ever wished for. And this person over here is absolutely, positively shining bright, okay? And this person is regretting not taking action. Will they take action? Will this person take action? This person, uh, well, now it's upright, the Six of Wands. I just shuffled and flipped like I do. This is finding the confidence to take action. But this person will have to let go of their ego and let go of their pride to do so. This person has a lot of ego and has a lot of pride. And that is one of the reasons why they have been unable to take action. Not only is it ego and pride, they're really worried about what their followers think. Okay, their family perhaps. Perhaps their family made the decision for them. That's really sad. That is really sad. So I feel as though we have somebody here that is, is definitely regretting, but they will probably have to go against the, their tribe or go against their crowd to, you know, make this successful. It's like they really want, don't want this cycle to end. They, they, they're, they're, you know, feeling the pain of it. Absolutely. And they may find the confidence but we have the two of cups. Maybe too late. Maybe it's too late. Maybe they fear. They 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 feel like it's too late. Maybe it is too late. Maybe they have fear that they will be rejected. If they if they you know this is about being recognized as well. This person definitely let the people that are watching them decide their fate. Okay, this is being recognized. This is being rec recognized, and this is fate. The wheel reversed. So somebody is, re is, is regretting it. I mean, when you let your family, when you're trying to prove something to your family or your friends or to whoever, and they decide your fate, that is very sad. And that's what we have here. Somebody let their followers or their friends or their family, you know, trying to prove something to those people decide their fate. And it's like they've lost a compatible partnership because of it. Could be even children. Maybe the children. You know, trying to prove something to the children. I don't know. 
But anyway, I feel as though there, we have somebody here that is shining very, very brightly. This person is probably traveling to another part of the world. Um, this person is is shining very brightly. This person is following their dreams. This person is going is getting their wish fulfillment, and this per and this person is overwhelmed that they have lost something so <laughs> whatever they wished for. They they've lost. This is like a dying dream. Okay. So will this person communicate? You know they may. If they can find their moral backbone to do the right thing right in the middle, this is a message coming in. For some of you, you will receive communication from the person that, you know, really regrets their actions and can let go of their pride and ego. For some of you, if you're dealing with a narcissist, a narcissist does not apologize for any reason whatsoever. So if you're dealing with a narcissist, the answer is no. If you are dealing with somebody who's not a narcissist, this is just somebody who has pride and ego like the whole world does, this person may apologize and do the right thing because they can't deal with it anymore. It's overwhelming them. So somebody is about to go down a new path. It's like a new door is opening up. I feel as though the time is now. Somebody may realize. Somebody may have changed. Okay, this is temperance. They may have changed. Loss can teach somebody a hard lesson. So somebody may have learned their lesson and they've changed and they want to heal. Somebody may receive a message from somebody. This person may have really, really changed. If this message is for you and this is what you want, good luck. We do have somebody here that has really evolved. This person, and I put it, I put this right over here. That's funny. This person has evolved. This person has healed. This person is no longer invested. This person is a star. This person is shining bright. This person is blossoming. And the person that neglected them is regretting not taking action and they may communicate. Good luck.